The meeting looked at two dominant issues, beginning with the outing of the president of the just concluded United Nations General Assembly. Various aspects of the president's speech in New York came under scrutiny, and the council came to this conclusion. All in all, it was uh, an extremely uh, successful outing. Mr. President was able, uh, during his address, uh, to, 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 to demonstrate that Nigerian leadership at the global and uh, an African level uh, is very much here again. For those who hold the view that the president did not speak to issues that concern his country, Mr. Nyama has this to say. I think that he will be missing the point to somehow believe that um, he was just addressing issues that somehow did not were not of relevance to Nigeria. On the contrary, they were very relevant to Nigeria. Basically, then, Nigeria. The revelation that Nigeria is a member of 310 international organizations, a development the administration is unhappy about. The government responded by setting up an interministerial committee to review the country's membership of some of the organizations. In particular, there was a dispute as to the figure of how much is owed. The committee had a figure of about $122 million, but we are clear from the Ministry of Finance and other ministries that it's far more than that. The committee found out that Nigeria's commitment and obligations as a result of the membership is about $120 million. Ultimately, the nation reportedly spends about $70 million annually, hence the recommendation that Nigeria should exit 90 organizations in many cases, we are not actually paying our financial obligations and subscriptions. And in particular, um, it was discussed that um, there are some ob commitments made to organ um, international organizations, even by, well, not by this president, but by former presidents, which were not cash back. So when our delegations then turn up at those organizations, we, we become very embarrassed. <laughs> Exiting these organizations, agreements or commitment would certainly generate interest among Nigerians in days to come, especially when the list of 90 organizations is made available. There would also be questions as to what are the terms of exiting these organizations? Does it come with some financial obligations? Are there likely diplomatic implications that go with this? Now, these are some of the questions that the committee will be looking to address as it lays its report before the Federal Executive Council meeting in two weeks' time. In all, however, the administration is confident this is the right step, even if it's to stop Nigeria from further embarrassment. From the presidential villa in Abuja, Ibrahim Adra, Channels Television News.